You are the most been medal athlete at the SEA Games and reputed to be the least poser in your wins. <laughs> poser. Okay, I don't know. Let's restart this. For Tingwen and Tingwen, Taya Jokel asks, What was your confidence level when you saw An Vien from Vietnam breaking so many SEA Games records? I mean, beating An Vien wasn't the main goal going into SEA Games. Uh, so I, I, I don't think it did anything to our confidence level. It just I erased my level of uh, respect for An Vien. Um, as a swimmer, but really, I think we were really strong as a team and um, stayed confident throughout the whole meet. For someone, Matthew Raynard asks, You are the most been a medal athlete at the SEA Games and reputed to be the least poser in your wins. Because of your humility and modesty, what nurtured this strength of character and what is your advice to aspiring athletes striving for gold? I was kind of a late bloomer in my swimming and I never really was really anywhere till I was about sec 3. 15 about her age, so I think I I know what it, it I know what it's like to not be the best and to be struggling to try to make ends meet in my swimming and I know it's tough and I think that looking back now I think I I just want to be one of the older guys to be able to help the younger generation and just encourage them because. I think that swimming is a long-term sport and if you just persevere and keep going, I think you'll be able to make it in the end. For Tingwen, CXTXC underscore asks, What are your plans now that the SEA Games have ended? Also, you are an amazing person both inside and out. Thank you. <laughs> um, now that the SEA Games are done, uh, you know, swimming is not really a sport where we can take a long break and be out of the water for so long. Uh, we had a few days off after SEA Games but because of um, World Championships, both of us have the World Championships and Singwen has the Junior World Championships in August. Um, my goal is to try and qualify for the Olympic team going to Rio next year so I think that's my next goal. For Singwen and Tingwen, Mindal Jenna asks, did the two of you influence Chingwen to swim too? Never really, I mean, we never pressured one another to get into the sport. I would never, I would want her to do what she loves, and if she chose to stop swimming like right now, I would like, totally accept that and be totally supportive of whatever she chooses to do next. I don't know about her. We did pressure her to swim, we just threw her into the water. <laughs> <laughs> For all of us, Jenny Tan asks, how did you know you wanted to swim competitively? Did your parents force you or was it innate? How do your parents support you in your pursuit of your achievements? My mom always told me that she, for, when I started <laughs> swimming, she just threw me into the water and she said that I just really loved being in the water. So she, um, she just signed me up for swimming and I realized that I really loved it. And when I started competitive swimming in like Premier 3, uh, I just really loved competing because I, it was like the adrenaline I got when I stepped up on the blocks and started racing with other people my age. For Tingwen and Tsengwen, seven night owls and we love Kwa Tsengwen ask, <laughs> will you make swimming your career? Tsengwen, are you planning on studies or focusing on your swimming career first? I, I, I wouldn't say that swimming is a plausible career for me, especially in Singapore, because I think we have a highly academically cult cult oriented culture, and I think that it's kind of impossible for anyone right now to just make a sport in your career. I don't really like saying, I wouldn't really want to say I want to make swimming my career because I don't see it as like a, a job. It's just something I enjoy doing. I am training uh, full time now. Um, trying to make it to Rio, uh, taking it one meet at a time. For Tsengwen and Tingwen, Jo Lee asks, what does your family eat to swim so fast? I think it's really just home-cooked food cooked by our mom. <laughs> so you have to ask our mom. Yeah. You know, I think just a balanced diet. I mean, we don't, we are not very restrictive. Um, everything in moderation. Yeah, I need to say something. <laughs> yeah, pe people, people always ask like whether I'm on a diet and I, like, to be honest, I really am not, but no one 
actually believes me when I tell them. It's really just that I'm kind of too lazy to go out and get my own food. And so like my mom just cooks for us and it tends to be on the healthier side. And, and it has come to the extent that when I eat um, like unhealthy or outside food, I can't eat too much because it makes me feel a little bit sick because I'm not used to it. Yeah, so it's a vicious cycle.